All right, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out Patreon. You know the drill. So no camera this time because I'm tired and you don't want to see that. So uh, let's try to rig this player so that we can uh, move our hands and arms with our controllers and our move our head with our head. And yeah, if you're just jumping in and you couldn't tell from the title and description, we are continuing our fusion bites and controlling a VR character with our VR headset. So we need to go to Window, Package Manager, uh, Unity Registry, and let's just search Rigging, see if that's a thing. And there it is, Unity's Animation Rigging has not been updated since August 24th, 2021, which makes me a little sad because I told you all in the last video I was having issues with it, and the fact that it hasn't been updated since then does not give me high hopes that this is gonna work. Let's check our player in our scene so we can work with them. All right, there he is. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand our player. We're gonna grab our skeleton because that's probably the root of, yeah, so that's the uh, the root of the armature. And we're going to go to animation rigging. And one thing we can do is we can do bone renderer setup. And that actually lets you see the bones, right? Cool beans, here you can see the bones. Um, you can change the way the bones look. I'm going to stick with Pyramid. I'm going to go to Unimation, Unimation, Animation Rigging, and we're going to go to Rig Setup. And now we have this rig here that's ready for Animation Rigging. Notice we have an animator that was added automatically whenever we did this. And um, I don't remember that getting added automatically the last time I did this. I wonder if that might be why I was having issues with it before, but we'll see. Um, we might have to remove the animator from our player here. Um, we will see, we will see. Most likely we will have to do that. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is, let's see if we can just turn our head. And this is going to be a bit tough because right now we have it set to in our follow script. We are in update. We are looking at that looker game object. So for now, I should just be able to comment this one line here because this is the only one that's doing anything. And now the whole body won't rotate whenever we turn our head. I'm actually gonna try to just do this off the top of my head. I have not done this in half a year. Um, so we're just gonna go in here, we're right clicking on the rig one. And we're gonna create empty. In case you didn't notice, the rig one was created automatically whenever we added our rig builder from animation rigging, rig setup. All right, I'm just to be sure, are we zeroed out on our skeleton? Good, we are. All right, so this is going to be our head constraint. Again, I'm just trying to do this off the top of my head. We'll see if I remember, right? And, um, we are going to add a component. We are going to add a constraint. And I think this is a multi-parent No, we don't want multi-parent constraint because that could do weird things. Um, oh, what? you know what? I'm gonna go look at my other video real quick. I told you about this video in the last video. <laughs> Um, it's multi-aim constraint. Okay, so on the head constraint, we're gonna come over here, add the multi-aim constraint. And the constrained object is going to be our head bone. So if I just come here and I search head, that should be it. There we go. All right, and our source object that we're going to be using to aim, um, normally we'd have like a target, um, a target game object we would add. But since we already have one up here, our looker, I should be able to just go ahead and add the looker as our source object. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna type in looker. There we go. All right, I think at this point, we just test this out. All right, here you can see, um, I'm, you know, I'm not wearing a webcams or wear, have one of my webcam on, so you can't see I'm wearing the headset, but I am wearing the headset. I'm looking up and down, left and right, totally controlling the head. So that's working. All right, we're gonna right click on the rig again. We're gonna create an empty and we're gonna call this left arm. And then we're going to 
add the component uh bone something two bone ik constraint and so we're going to choose our root our mid and our tip so our tip is going to be a hand so left hand and then um let's see we have our left lower arm and then we have our left upper arm and now we need a source target which our source target let me think about this. So I believe what I would used to do was I would create children of this left arm and I would have the target be another empty and that empty would have a multi-parent constraint of the left controller. But I'm betting that, and I don't think I've ever done this before, but I'm betting that I can just put the target as left controller. Really? Left? Dang, how many lefts are in here? There we go, left hand controller. Um, we'll probably have to change it though, because I bet the rotations are going to be a bit weird. And then for a hint, we're going to create an empty, and this is going to be left hand hint. And this is just, um, to tell the IK where to bend. So I think if I highlight the left hand hint and I go left hand, lower arm, control click, and I go animation rigging and I align... Let's go ahead and align the whole thing. Align the transform. So now my left hand hint is here on the elbow. And then what I do is I just take it and move it backwards so that it knows the direction the elbow should bend. And uh, let's see how that does. All right, I have to talk quieter because my kids are doing school behind me and listening to videos. But as you can see, it's working, but it's ugly. So two things are a bit weird. Where my elbow is trying to bend to is to the side and kind of off. And if you notice, my wrist is like really turned around. So let's see if we can fix the wrist first. So the wrist might just be as simple as coming over here. And I don't think we want to do position and rotation. Let's try just rotation. So I expanded settings here and I told it to maintain target offset rotation so the rotations of the wrist bone if we look at it uh left hand you can see that the forward position of the wrist is kind of like on the inside of the wrist whereas on the controller we won't be able to see it very well but on the controller the forward position comes out of like the laser pointer area of the controller so let's see if that worked so you can already see that the the hand is already much better. It's not perfect. So I'm basically holding the controller out in front of me like a gun. Um, I'm now gonna rotate my hand in real life like it looks in the Unity space now. So you can see it's a bit offset. So this is where we want to, uh, this is why we have a separate game object so we can adjust that offset. And I haven't messed with that weird elbow yet. All right, so let's go to here. Let's go to our left arm and let's delete the left hand hint. Now, one thing to watch out for is this rig hates it when you change the hierarchy. So don't ever try to reorder what's in the hierarchy. And I'm actually being kind of risky even um, deleting stuff, but you know what? Well, let's just, let's just leave. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just change this left hand hint. So let's change the rotations to zero. And um, I think I think that's kind of how I want to try it. Um, maybe it's too far off to the side. Maybe that's one of the reasons why it's pointed. It points out that way. So let's bring this in here. So maybe that'll help guide the elbow to bring the elbows a little bit more to the side rather than so far out. It's kind of hard to do this on an A pose. I kind of prefer T pose when doing this, but A pose should be fine. So now on the left arm, we're going to create an empty and we're going to call this left arm target. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the left arm target. Well, you know what? We shouldn't have to align it. Um, I guess we could align it to the wrist. 
Let's try that. I can't remember if that's how I want to do it, but I'm going to take the left arm target, control click the left hand. I'm going to go to animation rigging, align transform. So now the left hand target should have the exact same transform as the left hand bone, and it does. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to go ahead and put the left hand target right here. Now on the left hand target, we're going to add the component. So add component and we're looking for multi parent constraint. And so the object that we are constraining is this left hand target. And the source objects, we just are going to have one. And the source object is going to be the uh, left hand controller. Maintain offsets. Um, I think we want to maintain the rotation offset. But the position offset, I don't think we want to maintain because the whole point is for our hand to actually follow the controller. Um, but because the local rotation of the controller is way different at rest than what we have in our wrist bone, I think we want just rotation here. And we could also uncheck the axes that we don't want constrained. Let's see if this works. All right, so I just noticed my left arm two bone constraint. It's missing my hint now. Did I never have that in there? Is that why it was, it's being so weird? But you can see my hand does not look horrible right now. But still, if I rotate my hand, it's still kind of opposite. So we'll, we'll see if we can fix that. But this isn't horrible the way that it is until you try to like wave. And then you, it looks like that. So first off, let's go ahead and put the, nope, come back here to the left arm. Put the left hand hint where the actual hint is. And let's hit play again. Oh yeah, that elbow is much better. <clears throat> yeah, much better elbow, but the controller is a bit off. <clears throat> and what stinks is I don't think we can adjust this at uh, runtime. Like if I want to take this left arm target, I can't adjust these rotations because, oh, you know what? Oh, and I can't just, I can, maybe if I change this weight down to zero, I wonder if now I can adjust these rotations. Yeah. All right, let's undo that. So we go from minus 32 to minus 98. So what's that math difference? That's 66. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to subtract 66 from my left hand target rotation. So if I take this rotation and I go minus 66, now let's see what happens if we hit play. Is it just me or does it look the exact same? <laughs> what? All right, so I think I figured out the best way to do it. So let's take our left hand target and we're going to start over. So on the left arm, create an empty, and this will be our left hand target. And take the left hand target, control click on left hand, go animation rigging. Um, let's go ahead and align the transform. And so here on the left hand target, um, I do think there's some things that are still bugged out about animation rigging, I'll show you here in a minute. One thing we want to do is we want to rotate the Z axis to kind of be up where the X axis is. So really we can rotate on the Y 90 degrees, one would think. But no. <laughs> um, what are we in? We're in local. What about global? That's not going to help us. Uh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Redo. Redo. Um, switch back to local. Um, this is what's tough. Tough. This is Euler angles, and this is quaternions. I think. I don't know. You would think it looks like we could rotate on. Oh, on the X. This is the X, isn't it? Rotate on the X. But that's not doing what you would expect it to do. But anywho, if we grab this, we want to get the blue arrow to line up with the red arrow, and I'm using this tool here. So we're just gonna kind of and see the arrows disappear when we grab it. So that's kind of really annoying. I guess I just want to make it look like I have a 90 degree angle here 
So is that looks like about a 90 degree angle, doesn't it? Boom. And we're close. Um, I don't know, maybe something like that. So let's zoom out a bit and let's hit play. And again, what I'm doing is I am just sitting, um, pretend like I'm holding a cup of coffee. I'm holding my controller. Why is Vorp X opening? Oh, I forgot to uh, put my target in here because I deleted it and made a new one. Let's try again. And I forgot to build the whole left-hand target too. So let's do that. So left-hand target, add component, multi-parent constraint. The constrained object is ourself and the source object is going to be the left-hand controller and maintain offset. We want to maintain both the, no, we just want to maintain the rotation offset. Now let's hit play. All right, just to make this a bit easier to see, I'm going to go to the skeleton and I'm going to turn off the bone renderer. And that's pretty darn good. Um, I am, that's how I'm holding my controller out. Um, you can see that it's locking my elbow, um, but that's, that's pretty good. I'm waving here. And it's always gonna look a little weird because we're holding our controllers. And so we sh it shouldn't seem like I'm just putting my hand straight in the air because I'm not. I'm holding my controller and it's it's just a little bit different when you're in VR. Um, so there's a hand wave and that's essentially exactly what I'm doing in real life. So that is how we can um, rig up our avatar to move with our head, move with our hand. Essentially gonna do the same thing with the right hand. I'm not gonna touch the legs. People have been asking for full body um, IK and it is a pain in the butt. If you're wanting to go from head to toes, go spend 90 bucks on Final IK from Root Motion. Talked about it in the last video. Um, but we're gonna stop this video here and in the next one we'll work on actually moving our player and also having this working with it. But we should probably take our player and um, we're gonna go overrides, apply all. But then whenever we delete the player, because he's a prefab and doesn't exist in the scene anymore, if we go to our player again, our player is now gonna be missing references on um, our rig. So our head constraint, it does not know anything. Why is it not going to... I have weird issues with this on this project where it doesn't show the inspector. Look at the inspector not updating. What is the deal, inspector? Oh, well. Anywho's on the um, these constraints, it would show in the inspector. We're missing, can I do this? Oh, maybe I'll just bring it back in the scene and show it to you. Um, skeleton. All right, it took a while to compile. Rig one, head constraints. You can see it doesn't have any source objects. All right, um, because it's a prefab, what we're going to have to do is when it gets instantiated we're going to write some logic for or sorry when it gets spawned we're going to write some logic for if i have state authority i need to go find the left hand controller i need to go find the main camera uh, or i'm sorry the looker and um, put those into the respective fields all right until next time don't forget to like comment subscribe check out the patreon page important links all in the description we'll see you next time